Hi there, Coach Sage Cannaday of sagerunning.com here with a tutorial on how to start running for beginners. These are my top three tips. Now this is also applicable if you've maybe taken a long break from running and you're just getting back into it. Let's get started. Tip number one is to start off very slowly. I know a lot of you, you get out there, you don't know what to do exactly. Running's a tough sport. It's a tough demanding sport. It's also very rewarding though. And as soon as you start running, you gotta start off slow. That's the number one tip. Start off slow, start off gradually. Don't even worry about going a certain distance. Uh, you might wanna just go by time. So maybe you could only run for one minute at a time, 60 seconds at a time. Uh, do it very slowly. Just go for one minute at a time, then take a walk break. Then you start you start walking for one minute. So repeat that cycle. Maybe the first day out you can only do that a couple times. One minute run, one minute walk. Uh, but then after several weeks you slowly build up your stamina or endurance and you're able to go ten times one minute walking or one minute running or jogging, one minute walking. And don't worry about your speed. That's the other main point on this, is starting off gradually. You don't have to be sprinting, you don't have to be running fast, don't worry about what other people are doing. Just time yourself, try to run with good form, and we'll get, we'll get into form in a bit here, but try to run with good form under control. It's likely that your, your breathing's gonna go up really fast, you're gonna be breathing really hard, your heart rate's gonna skyrocket, it's, your heart's gonna be in your throat. Uh, if you have a pre-existing health condition or, or heart disease or something like that, consult your doctor before trying anything new. Don't wanna be any liable for that, that's my legal medical disclaimer here. But uh, yeah, realize that it's a process. It takes days and weeks of training and slowly increasing that distance that you're able to run before you start. Before it starts getting easier. And it will get easier as long as you run with good form and stay healthy. And those will be my other points that I'm about to get into. But the idea is that you go one minute on, one minute walking or jogging, repeat that several times, maybe you're up to 10 times, eventually get it up to where you're going two minutes or even three minutes of solid running before you have to take a walk break. And it's okay, it's okay if you have to take a walk break, get your breath and heart rate down because you wanna be running with good form. And eventually maybe you'll be able to run five, 10 minutes at a time and uh, build up your stamina and distance. And before you know it, after maybe several weeks, you'll be running 20, 30, or even 40 minutes at a time. And that's a really good cardiovascular exercise and you get mental benefits from it as well as the physical benefits of exercise. All right, step number two. Step number two is to run with proper running form. What does that mean? I'm gonna say check out our video playlist. I have a whole playlist on this YouTube channel of proper running form and running technique. You usually wanna be very upright with a slight forward lean, and it's better to take quicker, faster steps than to try to overstride or take long bounding steps because it'll reduce your impact force. And it's all about trying to stay healthy and not get injured. It's a lot of impact force with each pounding with each step. So if you take quicker, faster, lighter steps and you keep under your center of gravity, under your center of mass, stay relaxed, uh, you're less likely to strain yourself, strain a muscle or hurt yourself. So work into it slowly, run slowly with good form and check out my running tutorial video on proper run form. I have a whole playlist, I'll link to it in the description below as well as at the end of this video. All right, final step, final tip, tip number three is to stay healthy, stay healthy in generally. If you're running with good form and you're increasing your, your mileage or your distance that you're running very slowly and very, very gradually, as well as not trying to run too fast all at once, right? It's better to start off on the slower side with good form, being in control, than to try to run too fast. And even advanced runners make this mistake they try to run too fast every day. They try to push, push, push. You don't wanna push, push, push every day. It's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard when you start, but you wanna make sure you give your muscles and your tendons and your legs and your back time to adjust and get stronger slowly over time. And by running with proper form, running in control, and running at slower speeds, uh, you know, even if you're just jogging and you have to take those walk breaks, it's okay. 
because you're staying healthy. And that goes with all the other little things like uh, eating healthy, sleeping enough, getting enough sleep each night, staying hydrated throughout the day. That's all gonna affect your health and running. And hopefully you're in this for uh, the benefits of health, mental, and physical. So that's my talk on this. Be sure to subscribe on here for more of these types of videos. Running tips, I have a whole library from doing over a decade of running related content and videos on this YouTube channel. Thanks to the Patreon supporters for making this poss possible. Subscribe on here for more of these videos. Check out the links below in the description. Follow me on social media at Sage Canada. Hope you're doing well and staying healthy and excited to get into running. Yeah, I'm running down a dream.